in this video we are going to install clara on our local system clara is not just a chat interface rather it's a modular ai workspace which allows you to turn chats agents workflows and tools into resizable dashboard widgets you can run it on windows linux and mac but we are going to run it on linux this is fahad mirza and i welcome you to the channel the good thing about Clara is that it is all open source, MIT licensed, would be good if it is Apache too, but let's see. It has got built-in automation because it comes with a native N8N style flow builder. You can also build and run agents with logic plus memory, plus you can have Comfy UI integrated with gallery view. So if you look at it, what the creator has tried to do he or she has tried to integrate a lot of features into one tool all running locally you really don't need any backend you don't have to get any api keys if you just want to run it all local so let's get it installed and we will see how it works there are three ways of getting it installed you could either use docker desktop or you could simply use the executable for your respective operating system or you could build it locally if you want to extend it because it is all open source i'm going to install it on my ubuntu system where i have one gpu card of nvidia rtx a6000 with 48 gpu of vram courtesy mast compute if you're looking to rent a gpu on very very affordable prices you will find the link to their website in video's description plus a discount coupon code of 50% for range of GPUs. So do check them out. So what you need to do in order to get it installed, just go to Clara's GitHub repo and I will drop the link in video's description. On the right hand sa side, go to releases. From the releases, just download whatever your operating system is. For Windows, just go with XE. For Debian, this is the one and then there are other ones too for Mac and stuff. So as I said, I have this Ubuntu, so I'm just going to download this app image here. So right click or you can use wget or whatever. And I'm just going to save it in my home directory. And it's a very lightweight one. It has already been done. So I'll just go here and then we can quickly check it out. So you see it has been downloaded as a Clara one. So if you are using this linux flavor make sure that you make it executable like i'm doing here and then simply run it either from command prompt or you can even use it as an installer so let me run this so first time when you run this it just pulls um, all the backend and stuff so let's wait for it it tries to be a self-sustained application which is always good you don't have to worry about a lot of prerequisites and stuff and after downloading all the prerequisites it seems clara application is ready i have just made it bigger and these are some of the features as you can see that privacy visual app builder and all that stuff which i already mentioned but we will also be checking it out and then first up you can simply click on this discover um, and then it is going to give you this um, stuff here and you don't really uh, need to do it but let's do it for the sake of it i'm just going to fill in some of the application i'll just say for now i don't think so it is uh, necessary but i'll just go with the dark mode and now <clears throat> this is the thing so i'm going to use it with olama olama is one of the easiest and fastest tool to run large language models locally if you don't know what olama is just go to my channel and search with it i have done more than thousand videos on olama if you have never installed it just click on this download for linux run this command for windows and mac just download this exe and this that is going to download the olama for you so I already have Olama running and I have, I believe, few of the models already downloaded. So if you have don't have any model, just go Olama and then run or pull model name like 
this and that is going to download the model for you and run it on your local system just like i already have this quen 3 mistral and llama 3 so i'll just go back to the application and this is the local host and default port of olama you can click on test which is always good to test from here comfy url i don't have comfy at the moment as i am in australia so i can select my time zone quickly if i could do that and then just launch clara from here there you go so the clara is launched you can start chatting you can manage agents automation and a lot of other stuff you can do so for instance um, if i just click on start chatting so i don't have a vision model so this is i don't know why it says vision model i don't have vision model so i'll just go with quen 3 and then this is a tool model i'll say maybe quen i think quen is a tool model and rag model let's go with quen 3 it's quite good model and then you can save it and then it's just become uh, a chatbot you can just start chatting with it and there you go so the model is running which is this is not much different from rest of the lot but interface is quite good but one thing is a bit funny is that uh, i was expecting it to be a bit darker mode but maybe we can change it again anyway you can um, just you know the user interface looks quite good in terms of this there are a lot of bugs still because i think it was just released as you can see it shrinks but it doesn't expand back anyway it doesn't matter now one of the thing about this tool is that it is widget oriented so if you go back to the home you will see that uh, you can build your own stuff here you see on the right hand side um, there is an add widget which is blinking as i said there are a lot of bugs still but hopefully the creator is going to fix it so there are some system widgets you know which are already there there are data widgets where you can web hook the data so for example if you have any api endpoints you can simply <clears throat> use them there you can integrate your own application and then there are various widgets like a email and stuff and i'm sure this list is going to grow and these are the agents if you have any it is going to also put it here and then you can run with it also as you can see for example these are the agents you can build your own agent uh, for example if you click on create agent here and then you can just build it through your api call so for example you can see say that, you know i'll just drag and drop and you can say okay this is my uh are helpful assistant and then you can simply um, go from here and as you can see that you know this is a prompt to the llm then you can maybe integrate it with your api calls so i think this is the one where you can integrate stuff i hopefully it will okay you see the interface is not that good at the moment so maybe i'll just connect this one okay now this connect so you can build the whole workflow in terms of agents here and of course you would need to have those respective models you can even create your own csv file and static text so you can build the whole workflow as per your own use case so if i go back to app here these are the n8 n sort of workflows where you can uh, also get it from their store which i don't think so is enabled yet so look very early days but quite a promising tool i think once all these bugs are resolved this should make a real real good stuff because not only that but you can i believe um, also do image generation okay so because my comfy ui is not running on the local system otherwise it would run so you can integrate comfy ui so instead of running comfy ui in a separate interface in chat inter you know chat uh, with your model in another one drag in another one you can simply use it in the same console so for example if i click on start chatting you see at the bottom you can add your document you can even use code interpreter like we have in lot of other models you can if you uh, you can enable the rag here i just clicked on it you can even do the voice input i'm on my um, vm here so my 
microphone doesn't work otherwise you can even do the voice input here you can add any of your documents so just you know uh, you can add document which will just be attached here this is another fun thing in the auto mode it is going to select the respective model automatically i have tested it doesn't work at the moment i think they are still working through this one so it seems like a very interesting one like for vision for rag for text it will select the model automatically you don't have to worry about it so all in all uh, i would say pretty nifty not bad at all but very keen to hear your thoughts on it i also want to introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are camel ai camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling loss with applications in data generation task automation and world simulation if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching